Hello everybody, my name is Sam Gregory and welcome to this short video about these Photospeed Easy Books. These are neat little flip style portfolio books that you can use at home and insert and take out prints as and when you need to. And I'm going to tell you everything about them, including how to use them, why you might want to use them, the differences and importantly how to prepare your prints in Lightroom to take into account the binding section here as well. Now just before we get into that, don't forget please to subscribe to the Photospeed channel here on YouTube. There's lots more videos coming up about the products that we do, about the different papers and also about how to prepare your prints uh, at home and get the best from your print setup. But without any further ado, let's get into this chat about the Photospeed EasyBooks. So these Photospeed EasyBooks are available in a wide variety of sizes and just for today I've got the A4 and the A3 versions. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of bits about the sizing but before we do that I suppose the question is why might you want to use an easy book? Uh, well for me they're just a really neat place to put little portfolios of images. Now that might be from a trip you've gone somewhere and you've got six to twelve images that you're really happy with and you want to display them somehow or keep them for historical record or it might be a little presentation to a family member or even if you're going to see a client and you're showing them different types of work that you do. It's a smart way just to take along some different uh, looking images within a simple uh, presentation method. You can see here I've just used it uh, for a, vi a variety of pages in a little portfolio of images that I've done before. Now I did mention to you about the different sizes. Now I've got here just the standard A4 and there is also options to have a window on the front here which is quite neat if you were doing a little book which had a story behind it and a little title or anything like that or if you were showing to prospective clients, maybe even wedding clients. It could be a variety of different things photographically. They are available also in the bigger sizes such as A3 and there are some uh, different sizes outside of the standard A3 and A4 which you can check out on the photospeed.com website to see all the variants there. Now in terms of the finish, this is the black leather, there's a black cloth available and also a coloured cloth which you can check out again on the website. So I think next up let's just have a look at how easy it is to put the images in and out and then we'll finish up with how to prepare your images to take into account the bind section here as well. So I'll be right back with that in just a moment. Okay, so just before I show you putting the uh, images inside the easy book, uh, a fair question would be, well, how many pages can I get in? Now, obviously the answer depends on how thick the paper is that you're printing on. Uh, but this is platinum etching paper from Photospeed, uh, great paper, and it's 285 thickness. And I've found that you can get between sort of, well, two or three very easily, all the way up to 10 or 12 images uh, within the A4 landscape variant. And these are available as landscape or uh, portrait versions as well. Um, now obviously if you have more images to get inside then the simple answer is print it on a thinner paper and that should solve the problem. Now just in terms of getting them in you just need to collate your images like that and I think probably the easiest way to do it is to show you that there's a, a sort of sprung uh, hinge here and so if you just lay that flat, turn it and slide the images in, flip it over and hey presto you're done. Everything is in there. So it's really nice and easy to use. And what I do is just, I tend to keep a record of some of the portfolios of my work and they all sit in one of these little easy books on the shelf and they're very quick for me to get in and out. So all in all, an excellent little flip presentation tool. Now, just before we finish, I'm gonna jump into Lightroom and show you how to print your image and line it up just to take into account the fact that you have the spine section here and obviously that you still want some space on the front here for people to be able to turn the pages. So just to finish up, let's jump onto the computer and show you that side of things as well. Okay, so as I say, you just wanna be careful that you print your images for the easy book a little bit further to the right of the page. And so that obviously the bit you lose when you slide it into the crease or the central bound section, uh, you're obviously then allowing yourself some space so the image uh, still feels centered and that you don't lose anything to that crease in the middle of the easy book. So the way I do it, and there's various ways you could go about this, but I just set up in um, in Lightroom here with a basic you know, blank setup like this, and make sure your page setup is to A4 borderless. Just click OK on that. And then just drag all your margins here back to zero, except this left-hand side one. You can see if I move that back to zero, 
it centers the image, but we want to just push it off a little bit to the right. Now I've tried ex experimenting with a couple of different sizes, but one centimeter seems to work quite well with A4 using the easy books in the landscape orientation, but by all means, just try a couple of test sizes yourself. But as I say, that should then make sense. And if you make sure you do every print in that same fashion, as you flip through the little portfolio, they're all gonna make sense and you're not gonna lose anything to this spine, this centered area over here on the left-hand side. Now, size-wise, just as a final thought, with the A4, I use a width of 26 centimeters. That leaves you a little bit enough here on the uh, far right, so that if the person flipping through the easy book, you know, they've still got a bit of print they can touch to, to turn it over. You need to leave a little bit of that there usually. Again, it may depend if you're on A3 or A4. But I hope that helps, and I hope you enjoy using the easy books. They're a really cool way just to keep little bodies of work together that you can share or that you can just catalogue and document for yourself at home. So check them out. They're on photospeed.com in a variety of sizes, finishes, and colours. Thank you very much for watching the video, and uh, I shall speak to you again very soon.